Well, hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, I have something special for you. So you see, this is the latest, the greatest uh, Kenyon Lux World Cup CF6 mountain bike, specifically a cross-country mountain bike. And in this episode, I will give you the buyer's guide for this bike. And of course, at the end, I will tell you my opinion. Should you just go ahead and buy it or should you just consider it? So as you probably know, uh, I am a huge fan of cross-country mountain bikes because I believe they are so versatile and so applicable in real life that uh, it would be almost an understatement to say that a uh, a lot of people are not even aware of the capabilities of a proper cross-country mountain bike. So let's first answer the question with this bike. Who is this bike for? I would put it like this. If you are serious about racing your cross-country mountain bike, or you like to go off-roading, but in this case, you like a bit more a softer, smoother ride, then definitely you should consider this uh, Kenyon Lux World Cup CF6 uh, mountain bike. This is, as you probably see, this is the full suspension mountain bike. So basically you have your front uh, suspension front fork, and then you also have the shock uh, be below the top tube of the carbon fiber frame. Now, when we speak about the price of this bike, uh, in UK, it uh, retails for 3,200 British pounds, or if you are in the US, it's going to be approximately three and a half thousand US dollars. So make no mistake, this is not a cheap bike. It is one of those a bit uh, going up to the levels of the eye-watering prices. But you will see when we dive into the specifications, what do you really get for your hard-earned money, specifically for this uh, 3,200 <clears throat> British pounds. Also, I will briefly mention here when it comes to the paint schemes, uh, luckily, uh, Kenyon is offering two paint schemes on this bike. One is this uh, very classical <clears throat> black with a hint of silver and white. Looks pretty decent, uh, no special complaints from me. And then they have this beautiful race green uh, paint scheme, a combination of kind of a light and dark green with a hint of black. Absolutely beautiful paint scheme, and I would definitely go uh, forward with this uh, race uh, green uh, paint scheme. Okay, one thing to mention with the Kenyon uh, carbon frames in this case is that you are getting a warranty of six years on their carbon frames. As you already know, all the carbon frames in all the bike industry are made in China or Taiwan. It only depends, you know, which factories they are using. And I wish that Kenyon would extend this warranty to at least, you know, 10 years or at some point if they would go up to the lifetime warranty like some of the bigger uh, bike uh, brands. So now we can dive into the specifications of this bike and really see what do you get for your uh, hard earned money. As always, we kick off with the frame and the fork on this bike. So the frame is a carbon fiber frame from Kenyon. This is their CF level of the carbon fiber frame. So not, you know, creme de la creme, the best that they can do. This uh, carbon frame, as I said, comes with the six years warranty. <clears throat> and also I will mention here that uh, there is a 12 millimeter two axle at the back, 15 millimeter two axle at the front. You have a bit of uh, internal cable routing through this frame. And also it comes with the press fit uh, bottom bracket. I have no complaints about this carbon frame. It's definitely gonna work perfectly fine on this full suspension mountain bike. So definitely all good in my opinion. Now, <clears throat> when we speak about the full suspension mountain bike, as I was saying, you will have the front suspension fork and also the rear shock below the top tube of the bike. Briefly, a rear shock on this bike, you are getting a superb, in my opinion, Fox Float DPS uh, rear shock. And briefly, some of the highlights of this rear shock will be that uh, <clears throat> on this rear shock, you can clearly see here, you have a little adjustment lever. You can adjust it into two positions. Basically, you are getting uh, open mode, you are getting so-called medium mode or the firm mode where the shock can work, 100 millimeters uh, of the travel with this little shock. And also it is, of course, an air spring inside. <clears throat> 
with the with the uh, rebound adjustment and i will just mention here that the probably the weight of this shock is going to be something about 300 grams all in uh, fox uh, float uh, rear shock uh, absolutely superb again no complaints here from me when it comes to the suspension fork you are again going to get a superb fox 32 fork and this is their step cast performance fork so some of the highlights of this fork definitely include that of course it is a hundred millimeters of travel fork 15 millimeters through axle on this fork and the biggest rotor you can mount braking rotor is up to 203 millimeters air spring here is a superb uh, float uh, evil air spring from fox and i will just mention that it also comes with the so-called fox uh, grip uh, damper where you can also <clears throat> adjust on the fly your uh, compression damping on this fork so you have the firm position medium position and the open position and of course on this fork you can adjust the low speed rebound in a 10 click position all in again superb cross-country mountain bike fork from fox fox 32 a step cast performance fork i forgot to mention here that of course the diameter of the legs is the 32 millimeters therefore the name comes from that so all in superb rear shock superb fork on this uh, carbon frame now let's talk about the drivetrain on this uh, bike so you see <clears throat> this bike is a one by setup so there is no front mech on this bike you have a shifter and the rear mech and the shifter is the shimano slx shifter 12 speed and the rear mech of course shimano slx 12 speed rear mech uh, I will just mention here the Shimano SLX, absolutely superb group set. It just sits a little bit below Shimano XT and Shimano XTR, but you can definitely consider Shimano SLX an excellent group set ready, you know, to be ridden hard. And if you want to be using it in the racing, there is no problem with this. Now, when you look at the cassette on the bike, no cutting corners. Again, Shimano SLX 12 speed cassette. And this is one of those huge cassettes, uh, 1051 cogs on this cassette, a huge range, a gear range of, you know, over 500%. This is paired with the Shimano SLX crank set uh, up to 175 millimeters crank, and it has 34 tooth uh, chain rings. So you can see this huge spread of uh, gears from 34 tooth at the front chain ring and at the back, at the back a huge cassette 1051. There is no problem of attacking any uh, steep mountains with this uh, gear ratio. And I'm also glad here that there's no cutting corners. Uh, even the chain is the Shimano's M7100, so Shimano's SLX level chains, 12 speed chains. So cassette, chain, crankset, and the shifter and the rear mech, everything is Shimano SLX top notch no complaints here as i was mentioning before the bottom bracket is the shimano's press fit bb71 look i'm expecting it to work perfectly fine if the quality control of this carbon frame was very good there should be no problems with this press fit bottom bracket now let's look at the braking system on the bike so hydraulic disc brakes front and back shimano slx front and back and they are paired with the shimano's rt66 braking rotors you have 160 millimeter rotor at the back and 180 millimeters at the front absolutely superb combination you will have enough stopping power with these uh, braking rotors and i will just mention here that in the future when you destroy this RT66 braking rotors, I can advise you to maybe save a bit of money and buy yourself a Shimano XT or even Shimano SLX uh, braking rotors. Just because a, a bit of a better heat dissipation, but definitely keep it in the same sizing, 180 millimeters front, 160 millimeters at the back. Now let's talk about the wheel set on this bike. So what do you get here? In my opinion, again, a superb DT Swiss x 1900 spline wheel set so this is a proper cross country aluminium wheel set if you would buy it on the open market starting price would be from about 610 us dollars or about 480 euros and i will just mention here that the main highlights of this aluminium wheel set include that the 
total weight of the wheel set is approximately 1,900 grams. It is an aluminum rim. It is tubeless compatible. Of course, you will need to get your own tubeless tape and the tubeless valve. It is, of course, 29 inches in diameter and the inner rim width is 25 millimeters, <clears throat> which is very nice. And also the hubs that come with this wheel set are the DT Swiss 370 hubs, 12 millimeter through axles at the back and 15 millimeter through axle at the front. Superb <clears throat> DT Swiss hubs, <clears throat> absolutely no complaints here from me with the DT Swiss Ratchet LN18 systems. Spokes, of course, from DT Swiss, DT Swiss Champion. And um, I'll just uh, mention here that uh, total weight approximately 1,900 grams for this aluminum wheel set. There is no complaints uh, here from me when it comes to DT Swiss. DT Swiss does excellent wheel sets in my opinion. Also, I will mention here that this uh, wheel set is wrapped in the Maxxis tires, uh, totally classical Maxxis Icon tire, 2.35 inches in diameter totally enough air volume in this tire. And again, no complaints from me with Maxxis tires. I have used Maxxis, Maxxis tires on my cross-country mountain bikes for uh, many years, works uh, perfectly fine. Also, when it comes to some of the smaller pieces of the cockpit, so handlebar and the stem, both of them are from race face, aluminum pieces, handlebar diameter 740 millimeters, and I'll just mention here that the grips are from Ergon, superb grips Ergon does. And also the saddle on the bike is from Ergon SR10, superb saddles Ergon does. The only complaint here I can see is the seat post, although it is a race face seat post. I'll just mention that it is a aluminum seat post with 30.9 millimeters in diameter. That's standard, that's fine. But I wish that they have just dropped in a nice carbon fiber seat post because it would just contribute a little bit more to soaking up some of the small bumps. But this is such a tiny complaint from me here that if you really want in the future, you can upgrade this seat post and buy yourself some kind of carbon fiber seat post. So all in, <clears throat> when we consider the price of this bike at 3,200 British pounds or approximately three and a half thousand US dollars, what is my advice to you? I would say it like this. If you really like racing your mountain bikes, if you really like the smooth bike ride of the cross country mountain bike, specifically this full suspension mountain bike, then you should definitely go ahead and buy this uh, Kenyan Lux World Cup CF6 with a retail price of 3,200 British pounds or 3,500 US dollars. I believe it's a very good offering from Kenyon and you will be hard pressed to find from you know, some other uh, bike brands, a similar full suspension cross-country mountain bike, of course, carbon fiber frame uh, with this level of the equipment for these, for this level of the price. One more thing to mention, the total bike weight they are claiming here is 12.1 kilograms. I am assuming it is for a certain size like medium, which is pretty good in my opinion to have a this full suspension mountain bike at around 12 to 13 kilograms. Excellent stuff from Kenya. So this is gonna be it for today. I hope you like what I'm doing. If you do, keep on watching, keep on liking. And as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers.